What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Former Heathen Podcast. I'm your host, Shalina the Artist. I hope all is well. And if it isn't well, we serve Jesus, so all be well eventually. Y'all, let me tell you what happened to me tonight. My sister in Christ uh, sent me a video on TikTok. You know, she and I are always sending each other funny videos on TikTok. It just makes the day go by when you have someone that shares funny things on TikTok. It's just, especially when they're really funny. It's just hilarious and it's just really good for the soul because you already know laughter is good for the soul. So that's just like awesome to have. But she sent me the TikTok and it was hilarious, but it was about dating. Um, And it just made me miss date nights. Now, I don't miss dating because I don't I don't longer date. Um, I'm solely focused on courtships and men courting me only because dating does not end in intention intentionality, does not end in marriage. Courtships are intentional. And they are designed for marriage. They end in marriage. So if you come across this podcast, we're no longer dating. We are being courted, honey. So if you know you want marriage, that man has to court you. Fellas, y'all have to get back into courtships. Enough of this situationship, this dating shit, this sex before marriage. You know, opening women's legs up and putting children up in them and no commitment. We have to stop this nonsense, okay? Stop it. Become the men and the man of God that God wants y'all to be, wants you to be. Cut the nonsense out. Enough is enough. You are meant to be a covering. We are meant to be the tail. And we are meant to come together and become one flesh and do life together. In Jesus' name, amen. Stop playing with us. But anyway, back to the message at hand, my Lord. I miss date nights. I miss date nights. I do not miss dating and sleeping around with different men. I don't miss none of that. I do miss date nights. I do miss when I did come across a few good men, a few gentlemen who knew how to take you out on a proper date. And whether it was an expensive, because this is the type of girl that I am, the type of woman that I am, excuse me. I like the the nice, luxurious, uh, romanticized, expensive date. That's that's beautiful. But I also like the walk in a park date. I like the picnic date. I like the museum date. You know, I like the paint and sip night date. I, I like the library date. I like the coffee date. I like, let's meet up for breakfast and go to a salad bar type of date. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's go to an all-you-can-eat buffet type of date. You know, the luxurious, pretty, you know, that's those dates are nice. I'm not knocking those dates. If you want to take me out on a really expensive, luxurious, fancy, smancy date, let me know because I got shoes for that too and a purse, okay? And hey, how to go with it, honey. If you want to do that for me, beautiful. That's great. I'll appreciate that too. But if you want to take me somewhere that I, that, that I just mentioned, I'll appreciate that just as much as well. Just get me food. I need food. <laughs> One thing about me, you got to give me some food, okay? We, we got to find a spot to sit down and get something good to eat. Uh, I like to eat. So, yeah, I just got to put that out there. Now, not every, not every date um, has to start with food, but it has to end with filling the stomach up. Okay, thanks. <laughs> love you future husband if you ever come across this podcast i'm waiting for you to actually on a date <laughs> i'm crazy but yeah you know i just miss all jokes aside I, I just truly just miss um date nights i miss getting ready i miss the moment where you got the shower running you got the music playing you're having a glass of wine <laughs> one glass of wine is fine i don't think that's gonna send you out of hell okay I'll make another podcast about uh, that (laughs) because the sin is drunkenness, not the drinking. Okay, go on ahead and have you a glass of wine. I think you should be okay. But if you can't handle wine, go on and stick to water. That's perfectly fine too. Water, lemon, and salsa, that's perfectly fine as well. In Jesus' name, amen. But I miss the thrill of getting ready, doing my hair, you know, looking for what I'm going to wear, the shoes, the bag, how I'm going to do my makeup, what color do I want to paint my nails, you know, that rush you get when you're coming downstairs or coming out your, out your home and then standing in front of their cars or wherever, wherever they are, you know, and, you know, you ready? You know, and it's that, that big smile on their face. You got the cheese grin and y'all are just going to go out and have a good time and spend um, time with one another and talk. And that's another thing that I, I miss. I miss con- good conversation. I really do. So it's like, not only do I miss date nights, but I miss conversations with someone I like. I miss having a male in my life. You know, a male. <laughs> a man. A male, yes. But a man in my life. Relationship. And I've been so busy in the field gleaning, right? 
I'm so positively distracted right now with everything that God wants me to do that I have not sat with these feelings in quite some time. I didn't even realize I missed date nights until my sister sent me that TikTok because I wasn't even thinking about it. But I'm not going to lie. I'll hold you. The other day, I had this urge to download a dating app. And I'm like, the blood of Jesus, where this came from? I wouldn't think about no, no, no dating app because dating apps, while I'm not knocking that you can meet someone on dating apps, I just feel like they're not really tailored for the Christian man, the Christian woman. To me, it's like a money grab. But if you have met someone on a dating app and they just so happen to be saved and it worked out to God be the glory, I am happy for you. I'm truly happy for you. But I wish the dating apps were really tailored for Christian men and women of God who are really saved, who really want to find love. I, I pray, I hope and pray. Maybe I could create it. I, I, I hope so. You know, maybe we can get that going. I mean, I could have the, the saved Christian dating app one day. I, I might got to get up on let me, let me add that to the list. Don't be trying to jock my idea. But if you do, make it good. Make it good. <laughs> make the Christian dating app great. Think about the Christian man, the Christian woman. Think about our relationships with Christ. Think about that before you make that date and end. Okay? In Jesus' name, amen. But they're not tailored for us. So it's like, if they were tailored for us, I feel like we would have um, a better chance using dating apps. But back to the date nights. If you're feeling like me, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. You know, if God, if you know God calls you to marriage, and um, one way you'll know that God calls you to marriage is by the desire of it in your heart. He places a desire of marriage in you, and it just no, it does not go away. Even when you're frustrated that it's taking so long, when you're feeling lonely or alone, or, you know, whatever the case may be, the desire, no matter how mad you may get at God, that desire to want to be a wife or to want to be a husband, it just doesn't leave because God put it there. So it won't leave you. But it also will not pass you by. Remember, God is not alive. So if he's called you to marriage, you will be married, honey. You will be married. So do not fret. But I, I just wanted to make this podcast tonight because I know so many people are missing the company of a man or are missing the company of a woman, you know. You miss relationships, you miss routine, you miss getting to know someone, you miss talking and just having great conversations and looking someone in the eyes, you know what I'm saying? And just feeling love. You know, I miss that too. I didn't realize I missed that because I've been so distracted <laughs> while I'm in my in my waiting season right now. My, I ain't thinking about no man. You know what I'm saying? The only time I think about the person that God has ordained for me is when God leads me to pray for my person. But other than that... I ain't thinking about him. <laughs> I be thinking about me. I'm thinking about all the 50, 11 jobs that God has me doing for his kingdom. My marriage, my single women's marriage group I got going on. You know, I know I'm a full-time content creator. I'm a mom. You know, I'm a writer, a podcaster, a vessel for the kingdom. You know, a woman of many hats, woman of many talents. You know, I I got a lot of things to do. And I'm just one person. <laughs> so I don't have, I don't, you know, I don't have time to really even think about it. But I thought about it tonight. I was like, wait a minute. When's the last time I thought about a date night? And I went to praying tonight and I was like, Lord, I'm not rushing you. I know you will send me the God ordained person that you have for me when you see fit, when the time is right. But Lord, I really want to go out on a date. <laughs> I want to go out on a date. And I don't want to go out on a date with just anyone. I want to go out on a date with the person you have for me. The person you have designed for me. That is what I want. So funny, as I'm making this 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 podcast, I'm just feeling a warm, giddy inside. Like he's downstairs or something. <laughs> That's the craziest feeling. I just feel so good right now. I feel great. I feel great. This is why having podcasts are really good because you just get to express yourselves. It's like a, it's like a, a a public diary, so to speak. Love that for me. But if you're feeling this way, like you're missing the company of date nights, a company of a man, a man or woman, relationships, date nights. I'm here to tell you that you are not alone. You will have that date night when it's time. You will be in the company of your God-ordained spouse when it's time. Just keep praying. 
keep fasting, keep interceding, and keep being obedient and doing what the Lord wants you to do. So that way you'll be so positively distracted that you won't really be um in your emotional bag. Okay, you feel what I'm saying? So God bless y'all. I love y'all and thank y'all for listening to the Former Heathen Podcast. I am your host, Shalina the Artist. Y'all take it easy.